Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. Today we're making some Italian, actually Sicilian almond cookies with maraschino cherries. If you don't have maraschino cherries, you can substitute them with almonds. That's also another way of making this kind of sweets. Here in Sicily, we call them paste di mandorla and they are super, super popular. Also, the recipe is extremely easy and it's also gluten-free since we're not going to use any kind of flour. So, let's get started! A little side note, if like me at the last moment you realize that you don't have enough already peeled almonds, you can easily start from scratch. So break the shell of the almonds and then heat up some water and when it boils, turn off the heat and throw in the almonds. Let them be for just two minutes and then rinse in cold water. Now the peel will slip off in a breeze. Dry the almonds super well and here we go! I added those to my already peeled almonds and I blend them at high speed until I obtain a fine flour. In a bowl I sifted some powdered sugar so that I don't have to deal with clumps later on and I added some vanillin which in Italy is very common. It's just powdered vanilla essence. You can omit it or use a little bit of vanilla paste instead. To aromatize even more my almond cookies I like to grate in a bit of lemon zest. Not too much because we're not making lemon cookies. I mean that's up to you really, whatever you prefer. Mix a little bit, get your hands in there and squeeze out the essential oils from the zest and then add in the almond flour. Whisk everything well. And now in a separate bowl I beat two egg whites until I get a white and foamy consistency. Very important, do not throw away the yolks. You can use them to make so many other goods or simply just a nice omelet. Now I gradually add the egg white into the dry mixture. At this point, using a whisk is a little bit counterproductive, so I keep mixing with a spoon until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Our Sicilian almond cookie dough is ready, so I put parchment paper into a pan and I get ready to give them a shape. I used a pastry bag with this star attachment of 10 millimeters, but no worries, if you don't care about having them look like cute spirals, then you can just use your hands and make them into flattened balls. So a tip to fill up the pastry bag is to fold down the top over your hands and scoop up the filling with a spoon. Don't overfill the bag and leave some space to pinch it close. Awesome! Now I go ahead and I make my spiral cookies, just like this. Note that you can make them even a little bit higher and thicker or whatever size you prefer, but in that case you may need to adjust the cooking time. If you want them to be more on the softer side, then make the spiral a little taller. Now the cherry on the cake is the maraschino cherries on the cookies. I split it in half and I slightly press them down in the middle of the cookie. I do it for all of them and here they are. So a tip to avoid that the cookies lose their shape while they're cooking is to put them in the fridge for a while before you bake them. I let them cool in the fridge for an hour or so, but if you have more time, leave them for even longer. Then I bake them in a preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then let them cool down for a while because right out of the oven they're still very soft. And here they are. Store them in a sealed container in your cupboard. They are so authentic looking. Here in Sicily they are super popular and I would safely say that almost every pastry place carries them. Now it's time to taste them. Mmm, so good. I love them. It was so much fun to recreate such a traditional sweet that I've been seeing around pastry shops here in Italy since I was a kid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and if you did, leave it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for new weekly recipe. You got nothing to lose and new weekly recipes to gain. Bye guys!